about course objective and outcome. So what is the objective for our course? Our course, as I said before, is to introduce to undergraduate as well as junior graduate students to the, I say, basic concepts and the physical chemical principle as well as engineering practice of electrochemistry. Okay, physical con basic concept that is, for example, what is a battery? What is an electrolyte? What is an anode? What is a cathode? All these are basic concept. And the physical chemical principle, those are, okay, how do we get a so-called open circuit voltage? How is circ open circuit voltage related to the fundamental material Gibbs free energy? Or chemical, uh, fundamental chemical uh, properties and engineering practice of electrochemistry and their application in various systems. Elect we call them electrochemical system for energy, chemical, biomedical, and electronics industry. Of course, there can be more, but let's take a look at them. Energy industry, for example, we can use um, fuel cells to generate electricity that's related to energy for chemical or material manufacturing. For example, the production of hydrogen, the production of um, chlorine, the production of metallic aluminum, all these relies on electrolytic process. And that is related to electrochemistry and electrochemical engineering. Biomedical, for example, earlier I gave the example of glucose uh, monitor, and that is on electrochemistry to measure the concentration of blood sh sugar in a small drop of blood. And uh, electronics industry, for example, for many platins, electro deposition of copper for metallization, they we rely on electrochemistry. And all these are based on the content that uh, we cover in this class, electrochemistry and related electrochemical engineering. So as to a learning outcome, through the course, we want students to gain understanding about concepts of ele electrochemical cells and related components such as cathode, anode, electrolyte, as well as to understand the basic electrochemical process. For example, a a galvanic cell or a electrolytic cell. Okay. Understand the thermodynamics for electrochemical system and be able to obtain basic information such as um, cell equilibrium cell potential from thermochemical data, enthalpy, entropy, Gibbs free energy, and vice versa. Once we have the measured uh, cell potential, how do we get uh, the fundamental thermochemical data f through electrochemical method? The third one, understand the basic reaction kinetics for electrochemical system, including the current voltage relationship, because it's electrochemistry. Electro, we will always deal with electrical current, we will always have some voltage, and current voltage relationships are very important to tell us something about so called reaction kinetics, how fast do reaction happen, and we also want to understand the influences of different factors. Uh, such as the materials transport properties, the structures in the electrochemical system. The fourth, we want students to be able to understand the principle of basic electrochemical analysis technique, including controlled current or voltage measurement, cyclic voltammetry, uh, chron chronoamperometry, and as well as uh, electrochemical impedance spectroscopy, which is a very important technique, EIS, that is very widely used in batteries, in corrosions, in fuel cells, and many more. And finally, we want students to be able to explain 
the basic operating principle and identify major considerations for various practical engineering electrochemical system, including corrosion and its prevention, electrolytic production of chemicals as well as metals, electrodeposition, electroplating, batteries, fuel cells, and biofuel cells, and finally electrochemical sensors. For all these different uh, systems, they have similar or related underlying electrochemical principles. We want you to be able to understand the underlying electrochemical principles and also identify the major considerations when you come across these different uh, uh, electrochemical systems.